There have been other robots in the history of BattleBots that flip other robots up. They use pneumatics or hydraulics. To my knowledge, there's never been a robot like Mammoth that gets under an opponent, scoops it up, and uses raw mechanical motor output to lift and chuck that robot across the arena. It's a very, very successful strategy. And so far, we've been able to really uh, shake up the game. <laughs> so this is uh, Mammoth 2020. We're made primarily out of chromoly tubing. So the same kind of thing that uh, race car roll cages are made of. Uh, it's really strong, it's very lightweight, but it's also very compliant. So we go through a battle, we take a big hit. You might take some big chunks out of it, you might take some damage, but the structure of the robot stays intact. Now, there are other areas of the robot where we're gonna get hit too often to rely on that kind of thing. For example, our tail is made out of a plastic called UHMW, that's ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. That is a very durable, very flexible plastic. And what that means is that we can take hit after hit back here and not get things torn up. It'll bend out of place and it'll whip right back into where it's supposed to be. We've got multiple electrical engineers on Team Mammoth. We do this in our day jobs, day to day, and we can take that engineering knowledge and apply it to, to Team Mammoth uh, when we wanna go have fun and destroy some robots. So being able to use Altium and have all of us use the same software and collaborate really ended up being a, uh, a strong advantage. Yeah, the yeah. second that you don't tape up your connections and you lose a fight with your $10,000 because you missed five cents of tape, you will never forget to tape your connections again. In order to be able to make that 250 pound weight limit, we need to make sure that everything is absolutely as light as possible. This is where Altium really came in and was able to help us, especially with the weapon side of things. We had uh, a lot of, lot of trouble being able to fit something into our weight budget uh, that could handle the kind of power and the kind of current and the kind of voltage that's required. Ah. To control the new weapon motor, we develop prototype motor controllers. These motor controllers are dramatically lighter, they're dramatically more resilient than the large contactor that we used to use to control Mammoth's weapon. It also gives us the ability to control the uh, speed of the weapon a little bit. Sometimes you wanna get the motor into just the right position, cue it up, get it ready for a hit, and that's where this new design really shines. Not only is the peak power higher, but the effective power that we get out delivered to the opponent is, is dramatically higher. So we're putting out over 100 horsepower this year uh, into our weapon to be able to lift and throw opponents. In order to implement these kind of improvements, we needed a dramatically improved system for controlling the drive motors. We went from approximately one horsepower to 10 horsepower on each wheel of the robot. More so, we had to have a tremendous amount of power going into this, this weapon motor. If we're gonna be able to deliver 100 horsepower, we need a system that's able to handle that much current and that much voltage uh, for the duration of a three minute match. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful work. Please give us a like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe. We'd love to hear what you think, so please leave a comment in the section below.